What's going on guys? Lamb brain tartare and Frank, what is wrong with you? Well, you know, I tasted the lamb brain. I said, hey, it's got a cholesterol-y flavor and egg yolks on tartare has that cholesterol-y texture. So why not do brain on top of some raw meat? And if someone steal this recipe and does it in some fancy Michelin restaurant and you see it in a documentary, let me know. And I will literally fly over there and beat them with a cleaver and a mallet like I would a lamb trying when I'm trying to crack a skull open. All right, because I wouldn't be too happy about that. But anyway, uh, I diced up some lamb shoulder here and just put half of the brain on top. Uh, I'm just going to try a little bit of this meat to just to explain the, the taste to you guys more. Honestly, guys, this meat is so fresh still. It's probably four, five, six days old. Still has very little flavor. I thought, you know, meat from the supermarket was, I don't know, you know, four or five weeks old at least. So, you know, it's interesting that even after a week, this meat still has very little to no flavor to it. I guess it's going to take at least like two or three weeks before it starts developing some flavor. So I'm just going to take like a little bit of the brain with some of the the meat here. I wonder if with like normal jaw and facial development, if I would get stuff stuck between my teeth. I mean, this is good, like, might seem weird at first, and you know, if I was going to chef this up a bit, I'd use some ingredients I can't disclose to you guys, but, you know, you know, in my mind right now, I'm thinking I'd use a few different oils, some salts, some specific uh, vegetables and fruits that would add to this. And it could still be raw primal. And definitely season it with some type of acid or sweetness or, um, or saltiness or even umami. I like to think these raw primal cooking videos that I'm giving you guys are like a good base, like give you a good base and a concept for a dish. And then you could add things like specifics. Like maybe you want a little lemon juice, maybe you want a little mint, I don't know, maybe you want a little pistachio, who knows. Honestly guys, I was like thinking about when I was, when I was at the gym, I was thinking like, am I really going to come back and eat this shit? Like, is it going to be good or am I just going to have to try it for the, you know? I think the key to that dish working is the freshness of the meat. If you have fresh lamb brain, I mean the lamb brain doesn't have to be super duper fresh. It helps because it makes the flavor much milder. Same with the actual flesh. If the lamb is super fresh, like a couple days old from a freshly slaughtered animal, the meat is going to be so mild in flavor that you're not going to really taste it, which is a good thing in this case. You know, you can overpower it with other flavors. I know how you guys like these raw primal recipes. I could probably come up with a couple others off the top of my head, but I'm sure, you know, how many recipes can I come up with that have, like, I, I mean, you, I'd probably surprise you guys with some of the BS I'm going to come up with, to be honest, but uh, we'll, we'll see what, uh, we'll see what the future has in store. We'll see. Um, you know, not only are these meals nutrient-dense, they have, you know, it, it somewhat replicates the original foods we're used to eating, although, you know, lamb brain on chopped up lamb is definitely requires a kind of raw primal palate to enjoy. Uh, you know, I would say it's definitely a good idea and something that can get close to replicating steak tartare. Although, you know, I'm sure some of you guys would have no problem tolerating like beef tenderloin with egg yolks, which would probably be a little more enjoyable than this. I thought this was just on the kind of creative side. You don't have to use eggs if you're intolerant and you could kind of just use whatever meat you want. If you guys would like to support me, just hey, share the channel. Uh, if you want to check out the Twitter, other social media stuff in the comments, or check out my Patreon, there's a pretty interesting video about me and what I like to do in the Patreon. I forgot to mention, guys, I'm going to do a live stream on Sunday, well, tomorrow, at, I think I'm going to try to do one in the morning around 6 or 7 a.m. for the European viewers, and then we're going to do one around 1 or 2 p.m. EST for all the American viewers. Uh, if the first stream doesn't end up happening, I d I'll definitely do one later in the day. I'm just not 100% sure what time zone I would be really doing it for because not a lot of I don't have a lot of viewers from those countries.